Welcome, agents, to Strain 78-HAC of the Zero Point Report, the number one broadcast all about the news surrounding the Secret World IP. Today is Thursday, May 4th, 2023, and I am Ocho, one of the hosts for this evening. With me tonight, we have Two-Ton Waffle. Good evening. Who, who, say, who may or may not be muted because we're having some audio issues right now. So we might not hear much from Waffle. We'll see him, like, flailing down at the bottom of the screen. Like, ah! And then hands will come out from the side and grab him and drag him away. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We also have Jimmy the Rabbit. Prove it. I cannot. Can I see your long-form birth certificate, sir? It will not say Jimmy. We know that. <laughs> oh, no. Don't want, to give away, don't want to give away that secret. But yes, welcome to everyone who is joining us in chat. Hey, Azriel. Hey, Vomer. May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. You know what I did today? I bought my first Star Wars shirt. I did not own a Star Wars shirt. What the fuck? I know. I'm actually really disappointed in myself. I've got a lot of, like, weird nerd shirts. I have way too many shirts about volunteering because when you volunteer as much as my wife and I have, you just collect a whole bunch of t-shirts that say volunteering. But no Star Wars shirts. So I corrected that. I now have... Hiya, Chuck. Hey, Revan. Chucks. Multiple Chucks. And Azrael. I didn't see you there first. Yeah, I'm happy. And it was only $8. Which, for an online t-shirt, is, <laughs> like, nothing. It was, for some reason... <clears throat> the website that I like buying shirt, shirts from occasionally is called let's give them a plug why not it's called shirt woot shirt dot woot and it's a subsidiary of woot.com which is basically like a deal a day it used to be like just technology and only technology but now it's like a whole bunch of stuff because because they were bought up by Amazon but woot.com it's a fun site but they have a shirt section where all the designs are user submitted it's Amazon's returnment, basically. But they offer stuff at, like, deep discounts, and I've gotten a lot of good stuff off of them over the years. And so I was like, let me see what let me see what stuff the shirt Woot has. But if you're an Amazon Prime member, for some other reason, the shirts from shirt Woot, I don't know if it's today or if it... Because they didn't announce this sale. But if you have Amazon Prime, it, like, drops it down almost 50% for all shirts that they have. So I was like, shoot. I will pick myself up a couple. At least by May 7th, I will own a Star Wars shirt. That's basically where my story is going. Because this is now a Star Wars podcast. Wait, you bought a shirt but don't have it yet? Is that what you're no. trying to tell me? Yes. <laughs> God damn it. I, I bought the shirt what today. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's, May, it's May the 4th, and it I is have a shirt 4th, on the way. <laughs> and I bought it today. <laughs> That's my exciting news. What the fuck? I thought you were like... <laughs> I thought you were like, yeah, I bought a shirt for May the 4th, so I'm wearing I'm going to wear a Star Wars shirt. You're like, no. I ordered a shirt on the 4th. No. I'll get it far after the date where I should be wearing it. Yeah, for later. For later. <laughs> the, the, the fun part of that oh. was basically, that's it's my first Star Wars shirt. That's the weird part of that story. Pretty um, sure I have one... Just because I had a loot crate, okay, for quite a while, so I have tons of like random shirts. I'm pretty sure I have a Star Wars shirt in there somewhere. Like my son has four Star Wars shirts, <laughs> like all the kid sizes. He has all the cool. Yeah, ones. there's lots. There's lots of kid shirts that are Star Wars stuff for sure. I'm jealous of how much Star Wars T-shirts he has. So, and I got a few. I need one. You've got a couple? Yeah, I got a couple. That were hand-me-downs. Yeah, I'm positive I have some shit from the Loot Crate stuff. I have all kinds of shit from there. I got a, I got like an apron from like the Breaking Bad Chicken restaurant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like all kinds of... I think I like an Assassin's Creed like hoodie. Nice. Oh, I got a me. I like my Me Seeks hoodie, but it doesn't show up well on uh, green screens. 
Or conversely, it shows up amazingly. It just looks really fucking weird. Because it's the right shade of blue that, like, the green screen will decide that's oh, a must like... be a blue screen. So all of these, like, mouth, like, these teeth, mouths, and eyeballs, like... <laughs> I make it quite interesting. So it's a lot like the run that you just finished up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just... If you just had a teeth. jacket made out of it. <laughs> just teeth, mouth, and eyeballs. Teeth and eyeballs. Yeah. Very much. Oh, Valmer has that same apron. Nice. I don't remember when I stopped getting it. At some point, we were cutting expenses out and I stopped getting a loot crate. But before that, I, I have a fucking closet just stacked with like loot crate boxes. I was getting it for a few years. That's how you get fairies. I have, have an Infinity Gauntlet oven mitt that was like recalled. Yeah, that is okay. That is it. Valmer, the recalled mitt. Yeah. They recalled the mitt because, like, people were, I think, melting it to their hands or something. Oh, God. <laughs> or it wasn't really so it, uh, of a mitt. It's, so it's a mitt it was, that you can't Yeah, really it's use. an infinity gauntlet. It's an infinity gauntlet oven mitt that, like, literally says on it, like, do not use as an oven mitt. But people were using it as an oven mitt. And I thought good. they went out of business. Loot Crate did? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. It's been years since I've done it. Things cease to exist when I stop paying attention to them. <laughs> That's fair. I'm like an ostrich in that regard. Let's see, like an object permanence. Yeah. Does it exist? Nah. That's fine. Loot Crate uh, also uh, subdivided like crazy. I say, Loot Crate also having, started like, getting seemingly not as good. Yeah, That's they fair. subdivided. <laughs> it was like, instead of a Loot Crate, it was like now like you could get a Star Wars Loot Crate or this Loot Crate mm -hmm. or that Loot Crate or a... And I think the subdivision made them objectively worse. Well, I started getting like a whole bunch of crap that wasn't good. That's what I mean. Like you, like so when you had just one loot crate, right? Then you got like the best of everything in one box, right? But when they mm -hmm. started subdividing it, it's like now you have to fill a whole box with just Star Wars shit, or just Deadpool shit, or just this shit, right? So like yeah. you're now diluting the stuff whereas before you got one box for the month to have the best of all genres in it you know what i'm saying sort of just a just such a random assortment and they're like maybe we can give people the option as to what they would really like but now you have to fill a whole box with just that thing every month and you just end up with a bunch of shit it's right. just not as good yeah they had a whole loot box that was just socks yeah yeah and then some other stuff as well i mean that okay so the socks one made sense to me because maybe you just want socks. <laughs> and then, you, but like every genre, it's not like you were getting the loot crate of, I want Star Wars socks. It was socks. You know what I mean? So you still have a large variety. I think what ended up hurting the boxes was when they subdivided them into actual, like, sh basically shows. Yeah, I missed the, like, the first round of the Firefly figures. Like the, the models. Yeah. I, w I was, I'm kicking myself that I never got that. I'm like, ah, damn it. Now, if you want to buy them on eBay, they're like hundreds of dollars. Oh. Yeah. Or you don't mean like you the find Funko some Pop shirts figures, in a dollar right? store. No, right? no, you they're like can... model figures. No. Not Funkos. Okay, good. <laughs> no. They're high quality. Yeah, a year or two ago, I saw a bunch of Loot Crate shirts at Ollie's. Like, they got a warehouse full of Loot Crate loot shirts. And then a month ago, I found Loot Crate shirts at a dollar store. <laughs> yeah. But see, I would pick those up. I actually like the shirts. I'm sure, yeah, I'm the, sure shirts the shirts are were bad. cool. Yeah. The Deadpool shirt was fucking... Yeah, the, the taco one. I wear that all the time. Tacos. Yeah, that <laughs> shirt was fucking awesome. I think just yesterday, I wore my Archer shirt that I got from Bootbox. I did pick up the I did pick up the dollar store shirt. It was a D and D minifigure shirt on sprues. Yeah, like I, I also I just like shirts. I have a fuck ton of shirts. Yeah, I like like I say, I just bought two new Star Wars shirts today, but now I have to go through my shirts and like my drawer is just filled to the brim. I've got too many of them. I have to, sadly. I think I have like somewhere in the neighborhood of it's got to be like 20 or 30 like venture brother shirts because i because they had this thing where there was a shirt per episode 
Oh yeah. Oh wow. And you could okay. sign up when they did a new season, and you could pre-subscribe for every shirt of the week. So every episode, every week, an episode came out, and a shirt got mailed to me. And I did that for multiple seasons. So I've got a lot of those, <laughs> and they're all <laughs> fucking amazing. I know Balmer is a big Venture Brothers fan as well. I'm actually one shirt club shirt for that, but I'm glad I got one. Nice. Yeah, I think I missed the first round. I didn't know it existed or something. And then once I knew it existed, I didn't miss any after that. But they were really cool with theirs. It wasn't just like shirts of the characters or something. They would do like shirts of like merch in the show. Okay. Like I have a shirt that's literally like the fucking mustache wax that the main villain uses. <laughs> oh yeah, I think, I think I remember you talking about that one. Yeah, yeah, that's just and it's, he doesn't even he doesn't he uses it for his eyebrows because his eyebrows fucking go out to like here. But yeah, they, so imagine in like if Secret World had what is the Davios like olives or whatever or Davies olives? Yes, Davies. Because you needed to know it for that one investigation mission. Davies olives. Yeah, like if you got a Secret World shirt that was just like a can of the olives, it'd be like it'd be like that. Like that kind of thing. It would I be love a cool that. as hell shirt. Yeah. I love that <laughs> yeah. kind of stuff. Now I, I kind of want that. I wonder if I can. The problem with that is the artwork in the game is so fucking small. Cause it's for the. It's for the cans. Like that shit is pixelated as all fuck. Yeah. You need to like somehow upscale it. Maybe we. Maybe I could feed it into some AI art or something. <laughs> It'd be like. Make me a bigger version of this. Put AI to some good use for once. That'd be pretty sweet. Maybe they have a high-res version of the texture for it. I suppose in theory it's possible. I think it would be hard to get a hold of for one. And for two, I also am slightly doubtful they even have a super high-res of it. Because even a little bit bigger version of it would probably still be pretty small. But I bet you, like, I I haven't experimented with the AI art stuff, but I just, I want to imagine I could just be like, here's the shitty version of the art. Here's, like, the fucking Campbell Soup art picture. Now make it. Now merge them together. <laughs> I think there's one of them that you could do that, where you could actually put in an input picture, and it does something for it. Yeah. And then we can have a Davies olive shirt. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> It'd be such a deep cut. I'm totally down with that. I would say the easier one to do would probably be like Bingo Cola. Because that's bigger, in more games. There's much bigger... It's in more games. There's much bigger pictures available of it, for sure. So Like, like it's just not make, just... Like, yeah. You made a Bingo Cola shirt. Yeah, Dream... It's mostly... It started in Dreamfall, right? Yeah, but it's also in Dragon. Okay. I remember seeing a thing on it, and then I can never find the article again. I look. I don't know where the fuck it is. But there's an article somewhere that that literally showed like a crate of bingo cola in Dragon, like a different look, different era or whatever. I still need to play that game. I have it. I've owned it for a couple of years. I just haven't had time to, or haven't made time to play it. I'm sure I've technically had time. I don't think I own that one. No, yeah, I definitely own Dragon. I remember buying it. It's in my Steam library along with like a hundred other games I haven't played. Yeah, no, that's mostly what mine is. I just have yeah. a giant backlog that I will never like, finish, I split, ever. I have Ghostwire Tokyo. I really want to play that. That looked like literally a 3D representation of Kaiden. Like, yes. Spectres and all. I fucking have that shit. I just need to, I like, forget. set aside a few days to play it. I forget, like, what... Ghostwire Kaiden, yes, Bomber. <laughs> Get Ghostwire Kaiden, yeah. I forget, like, exactly... It looked, like, very much like Secret World. But in a good way. Not in, a, not in like, a... Oh, this is copycat way. No, it looked basically, like, really up our alley. I just didn't really hear much about it after it launched. Oh, I've seen other people uh, streaming Game it. Game Pass. I, for sure, I've seen people, other people streaming it. Other people I, I follow, actually. It looks cool. Say, but a game uh, just... recently launched this week that also is giving off major Secret World vibes. Oh, Redfall. yeah. 
That, Redfall just uh, launched. It's yeah. a decent game. Is it? Because yeah. I heard I say, <laughs> Waffle was playing it. I saw him streaming it. Oh, were you? Yeah, I was streaming it on Tuesday. I mean, I did I know that? I feel like I should have known that if that, but maybe not. So my only exposure to it was watching Moist Critical's video on it, which was basically just a video. I don't even remember if he, I, I think it was him streaming it and talking. I don't think it was a review, actual review. It was basically just footage of him streaming and playing it. Okay. And yeah, yeah. But I think the title was something like, this crap cost $70. <laughs> <laughs> That should give you a, an indication of what the response was. Yeah, but just I, I, just I haven't heard his great playthrough. I, like it. in seeing it, I was like, "I ouch, man, that looks certainly does not worth. It does not look worth seventy dollars. I'll tell you that. I would not fucking buy that game. No, for no, but yeah, it is on seventy. It's not worth it. But it is it's on just, Game Pass. Yes, um, that's why I play it on Game Pass. And ah, I think gotcha, gotcha. It's fine. Okay. All right, you're excused. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, I don't see Waffle paying seventy dollars for that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not Waffle's wallet. I don't know. It's Maybe, a mere bag but... of shells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But a lot of times, people are complaining about, oh, there's, you can walk across and have to map and have no enemies. Like, no, they're there. Yeah, they're sporadic, but it's not like you walk five feet and there's another person to take out and they're well, complaining no, was... that the uh, the cinematics that you see like on advertising so well, there goes all the budget for that so you don't have in-game cinematics you just have these still yeah, the, cut scenes the still cut scenes are a little black well that's just their art style that they wanted to go with yeah yes and no it can be a style but oftentimes it's a style out of necessity those cinematics uh they were made by blur weren't they i have no idea but it's the same thing yeah, i'm not sure is like so with the swotor oh the new expansion cinematic is awesome but you don't get anything like that in the game people don't complain about that i'm also harping on it's like almost a decade old i was say swotor well, is a little different because swotor is an old game at this point yeah but I'm saying it says, oh, we, we don't get those cinematics in game. It's the same concept that they're complaining about. Yeah. No, I, what I'm saying is I, it's it, from what I saw of them, not me playing, but it certainly let those play. And I was not impressed by either the slideshow or the content of said slideshow. And I mean that like from a writing perspective. Right, yeah. like the dialogue, it, uh, any of the dialogue that was happening, I was okay. If you were looking for secret world level dialogue, I would say yeah, well, that is not, not that. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. it does have a lore. It does have a <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not underlying saying it doesn't story have that kind of is pretty lore. dark for what it is. But I'm just saying it, is. it seems a little, which wouldn't necessarily on its own be a reason not to play it, but also just it's just it just doesn't look. As it a, didn't look what, fun to me. It was fun. It was okay. It's the looter shooter. I mean, that's, that's what yeah, I mean, do. I don't have a problem with looter yeah. shooters, but I'm just saying it did. It just didn't like the. It didn't look particularly fun. Now that said, I did see someone streaming it in a group, and it looked like they had, they were having a better time, but more because of the group than because of the game. Exactly. As okay. a solo player. And. and I yeah. will say that it's possibly a reason that it like succeeds, even though I don't think it's that good, is that realistically, there's not a ton of options to play co-op with people. I want to say there's not when... a lot of good co-op games. Yeah, no, not really. But I want to say when I when they first started doing the the trailers for it and then started doing the advertising for it. I want to say that's what the trailers focused on was like, oh, you run into that character. Oh, they're they've got their style, and oh, we're those we're stylish and we're shooting zombies. But it also was the, also the, like the your ability, 
like your ability somehow enhances someone else's ability or there was a lot of like cross ability usage that I think that the, the trailer the, vamp- sort of the vampires on. by the way just look like not look actually they didn't look great either but they're apparently just fucking stupid <laughs> they're yeah. able the AI is not the best unable to go around obstacles Tuesday when I was playing I was inside a garage facing out to the door waiting for the enemies to come in they would come in go around the table instead of just sitting outside taking shots at me then they would bum rush in come around the table and stop at a certain point every single one i'm like okay <laughs> yeah i've seen sometimes happening. where people yeah. were complaining that the vampires or the enemies would get stuck on geometry it's not just stuck on geometry. It was <laughs> in the in the put in the footage I watched. Like, basically, you could put like a car between you and a vampire, and it would just stand there yeah. permanently. <laughs> or even a forklift that you can shoot through. It would just stand there and let you shoot it in the face like six times. Oh, there was yeah. uh, somebody had posted it was a chair. I was when you first start out, you're on a ferry, so the captain's chair and a vampire is on the other side. You can just go around and keep them on the other side of the chair and they won't go around it. Amazing. But it's also where they're like, this is $70. And it's, there is in our heads, there's this distinct difference between what is worth $60 and what is worth more than $60. And I wouldn't spend $60 on that shit either. Yeah. But simultaneously it's, there's a lift there where it's, we're so used to paying $60 for games over time that they're like, this one's 70. It's up at 70. It's got to be better. It's got to be so much better than even the $60 games. And it's, it's not. It's so I could see, but it also sounds, yeah, it sounds a bit rushed. It sounds a bit that it came out underbaked. I don't think it was rushed. I just think. Oh, it was. We're told, I don't know, some, just from some of the things I, I overheard, mm-hmm. it seemed maybe there was. Like, they didn't want to be doing the game in the first place. Oh, okay. It was supposed to like, be released for like they, late sort of last like they year. had to in order to keep up some sort of cadence or their investors. <laughs> yeah, or like, like you know, or something. Yeah, like you have it's, to it's release something executives. in order to... Yeah. I can see that. Where it's, we have this, and they're like, release it. They're like, it's not going to do well. And they're like, well, that's fine. We'll just write it off as a loss. So it's got, also, got to put out that... something to keep, up a, to keep up a continuity. Redfall and Starfield later this year are the only two like AAA titles that are coming out to Xbox or Microsoft is releasing. No, oh, no. Okay. That's pretty awful. Yeah. At least I've heard Bethesda is basically putting like all their eggs in Starfield's basket right now. Like they've made, they basically cut everything as far as like Elder Scrolls based. They're like, just focus on that. Focus on. They're not even. They're not even gonna have anything as far as Elder Scrolls related until Starfield comes out. So. Yeah, that's the cadence. Is that they're going to do Starfield, and then start work on was it Elder Scrolls Six? Elder Scrolls Six, yeah. Yeah, and then the next Fallout series after. Elder Scrolls comes out. So it's going to be like 15 years. They were like, we need another (laughs) game in our stable besides just Fallout and Elder Scrolls. We need something else in there. (laughs) We need another one because what Skyrim was 2011? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Skyrim is freaking 12 years old right now. Something like that. Anyway. They need their Dune competitor. But anyway, you know what we're here to talk about? I don't know anything at this point, really. But Secret <laughs> World mostly. So we have some we have some news. We didn't find a whole bunch of news this uh, these past few weeks for Secret World. But the biggest piece of news that we have was the May progress update for the tabletop RPG. That was posted April 29th, where they say that the manuscripts have been sent to Funcom. The writing for the core rulebook and stretch goals is completed, and we've sent all our files to Funcom for approval. So what are the next steps? Right now, we're going through the approval process with Funcom. This may require us to make any requested changes in order to get the final approval for our licensor. That's why they 
But we're like, oh, how much information can you give us about this? And they're like, yeah, mostly all of that is still up in the air because Funcom has to approve it first. So they didn't want to say anything before Funcom actually approved it. Is it after that we're going to move on to editing and then layout? We're on track to meet our projected timeline, and we look forward to getting the book into the hands of our backers and all the Secret World fans. Late Pledges on Backer Kit ends May 31st, so if you have not gone into it yet, you can still get into it on Backer Kit, which is always good. Nice. So I, I, I did the, uh, I did the what you call from Backer Kit. I got the questionnaire, filled that out. That's going on, but so it has, oh, if you're a backer, how do you want to be referenced uh, in the final pro- questions like that? So if you get that, go ahead and fill it out. That's important. But otherwise, yeah, if you already did the, if you already did it through the initial Kickstarter, I don't think you had, yeah, you didn't have to do anything for the backer kit. You still haven't figured out how you want to be listed in it. I think I Palmer. just put Ocho. I was like, just call me Ocho. You only got a limited time. Just add the magnificent on the end. There you go. Yeah. Vomer the magnanimous. When is the deadline for that? Oh, that's a good question. I do not know that. I wonder if I can look that up real quick. I imagine that might be on the Kickstarter questionnaire itself. It's, if there was a deadline, you'd think it, it wouldn't be on just the questionnaire. <laughs> you think that would be information available, but okay. Yeah. I say it's certainly not information that is too readily available as far as when the questionnaire sort of stuff goes. My guess is probably not until, yeah, before layout sounds about right. So I would probably guess, and this is just a guess, at least by the end of May, I would say. I would take that May 31st deadline and use it as the same deadline. But, yeah, because I'm not seeing anything. There was nothing in the update about it, put it that way. Factory hit late pledges, blah, 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 blah. No, not seeing. Not turn. Oh, if we find out, we'll let you know. I'll help you decide by then. What are you, what are you deciding between? If you let us know, maybe we can help you with that. We can always flip a coin. I've got dice. I can roll them. Okay. No problem, Refim. We'll be here. So self-doubt intensifies. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Refim, so... you can take your phone and listen <laughs> in on the road. I've done that before. Me too. Yeah. I remember listening. Not only did I listen to the old Beyond the Veil while driving, but, but I think I've listened to it while mowing the lawn before. I like put my phone in my back pocket and put like earbuds on, mm-hmm. and then I put like head like mm-hmm. earmuffs on over that. <laughs> so I kind of noise cancel, and I was like just mowing the lawn. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I know I've done that while shoveling snow, specifically. And I want to say it was probably yeah, it was a it probably was beyond the veil to be honest. <laughs> there wasn't really any kind of any other. Secret World podcasts. I think it was just no. Beyond the Veil. Yeah, yeah. I think that was it? There's not another one now. No. <laughs> I meant at the time. I would say there was another one. Yeah, Vomer's right. There was another one. Okay. No idea. I have no idea. I'm remembering what it was called, or. But yeah, there was another one that tried starting up, and then it just didn't. I don't know. I don't know what they're. I don't be fair i didn't listen to it so i don't know <laughs> There's maybe your... i tried listening to the first episode and i was like yeah no the same for me which happens other things going on in secret world news specifically jimmy you have started Ooh. a new run and you finished a run who the hell are you saying the hell it'd be funny if i did that in the opposite order that's <laughs> that's actually what i assumed you did <laughs> yeah actually that, that's that's very that is what you assumed oh, that's for the next that is what i assume you did yeah i assume you, you started it without finishing the previous one no what i said was i might start another one during this one just because mm-hmm. this one is apt to take a ridiculously long amount of time so i it may i may not want to grind it out for two years straight <laughs> you know that's, what, is this, what is what is this new run 
So the new run is free to play to E17. Okay. Which, yeah. So it's going to take a while to hit Elite 17. I'm Fox made a mod for me. So while I'm playing, it's got like the character name, the play, the current played time constantly ticking okay. up, and the item power. Okay. So I did a, in fact, because we were doing a show tonight, I assumed, and apparently correctly, so there's that, I did a lunch stream to not miss my daily challenges on that character. And I think I ended, I want to say I ended where I played that character 12 hours so far and have okay. 70, God, 74 item power, I think. I'm in okay. Egypt. It's only been three streams. Technically, today was four. But it basically, it took me three three streams to get to Egypt at an average of three hours a piece. That's pretty good, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'll say this is more of a, it's a, it's not 100%. Or it might be 100%. I mean, it probably me, will be just because I'm going to want EPSP from the completions. And all the, when you're a free-to-play character, the, the cooldowns are much larger. Yes, I noticed actually because... Because I decided to do something at lunch, I was like, oh, I can just go back to Kingsmith and do a mission. And they were on cooldown. The very fucking first mission in the game was still on cooldown. Yeah. This full of zombies was on cooldown, and I'm in goddamn Egypt. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you fucking shit me? And then I looked, and I realized, oh, it's because I wouldn't normally be playing right now. If I was, like, if we didn't have a show and I was streaming tonight, I would have been mm -hmm. able to do that mission. Because it would have been three days from. Yeah. Yeah. Part of the the patron benefits was the eight hour mission cooldowns instead yes. of three day cooldowns. Yeah. Which, like in general, shouldn't be a problem. But it, when I went to go do a quick mission, I was like, oh, fuck, I can't. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Yeah. And that would leave also if you're trying to get like the unseen achievements. Um, oh yeah, to wait days. You used to have to do that even as a yeah. member back in TSW though. Yeah, to wait days after you got through it and it messed up. Dude, like, that ah. pissed me off for literally months. Since the father took me fucking months to get in TSW. And I would go on an alt and practice and get it first try on the alt and then go play on my main and fucking fuck it up. And I was like, God damn it! <laughs> You're like, it went so perfectly in practice. Yeah, like, every one of my alts had that fucking achievement before my main did. Wow. It, it okay. was fucking stupid. But this previous run that you just did... No so verds. How did... The no verds. How did that... How did that end up for you? What, were you, what was your takeaway? What was your... I would say your um, lesson learned, but I don't know if any lesson is really learned. But what did you... What was your takeaway from it? Doing invisible stuff is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got the spikes thing up on TikTok. I saw that one, yeah. I had to, like edit that and shit. The getting through the spikes in the the hell mission from Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. I actually showed my kid that today. I was explaining to him like what that was. I was like, okay, so this. I know it looks empty, but this is what it looked like afterwards. But wasn't like I, I want to say for those. To get through them, you could also just, like, when they're down, you could, like, just press up against them and then, like, sneak through, right? Yeah, the best way to do it is to just lean sideways, just lean against them. Yeah. But you can still die that way. I've done it. I've done it with things not invisible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's you're still pretty easy to off, die from it. You'll course, just go but... sideways. In, uh, uh, so you won't get killed by the one you were leaning against, but you'll get killed by the next one, potentially. Yeah. That makes... Run a little too far past it. Yeah, essentially, yeah. So that's a problem, or, or definitely can be a problem. But yeah, I don't know, that run was super fun. The weirdest part was, honestly, just worse than the invisible, I think, was just not having words. Having nothing. No, nothing yeah, having on, no on any words. items, having your anything on... The, it was say, the, yeah. mission, the mission tiers mostly 
Yeah. Not knowing what the next step is supposed to be and just forgetting that you were supposed to like touch a goddamn book or something. Yeah, like, I was, read, I was... like, read the thing before you leave, and you're like, wait, I can't just run out yeah. and do the thing. No, no, you have to stop and read the thing first. Yeah, it was like, I, yeah, I thought the game was bugged when I went to do Beaumont and the cinematic was triggering. I was like, oh, fuck, the mod somehow bugged it. No, I'm just an idiot. I didn't pick up the fucking book. It's like <laughs> a part of the goddamn tier. I'll say, but if there's anyone who was who has run the game enough where they would be able to remember what all those steps actually were, I can't think of anybody better. Yeah, like, I, I, played, whole game. I, I remembered most of them. But yeah, it was a problem, let's say. Definitely more than I, like, more than I anticipated. So, sorry, I've been, I somehow got shanghai into an E14 dungeon. A little <laughs> unfocused. But yeah. Oh, also the computer shit. Oh my gosh. Okay. All the computer shit was empty and like <laughs> that and it got worse because Fox updated the mod so you couldn't see what you typed. I used to be like in the first iteration of the mod, I could just select what I typed and at least see what I typed to see if I typoed or something. And then in a later iteration, he removed that so I couldn't even see what I typed. Which was fucking insane. And then, oh, you know what really was crazy? Coming to the computers? What's that? Dude, Amy. Okay. You know how she has all those riddles in the computers? Yeah. Yeah, they're fucking random. Oh my gosh. Right, okay. Yeah, it's not the same riddle on every computer. Whenever you go to Amy's level... And you, those computers load up. It's one of the riddles randomly. I had to fucking guess answers because I couldn't read the riddle. <laughs> I'm just like, is it three? Is it tomorrow? Is it coffin? Is it echo? Is it shadow? Is it <laughs> like, is it nothing? I basically know all the riddles and their answers, but I don't know what fucking riddle it is. Yeah, because it goes random order. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I was like, when that happened, I was like, are you fucking shitting me right now? <laughs> it was like what the one of the parts that I remember watching you do was in Blue Mountain was the, the Standing Stones. Yeah, it was a similar issue. It's a similar issue, right? It's answer this riddle, and it's just three blank answers. And it's like, sure, yeah. Yeah, so that was like a one in four, right? And then iterated. So the next one, I knew it was only like these three options. The next one was only these two options right and the next one obviously there's only one to get whereas amy's was much worse <laughs> and i think there wasn't an audible sound but i did eventually figure out that if i put in the right putting the wrong a answer put up a prompt which he made prompts like a dot so at least i knew there was a prompt and if you got the right answer there was no prompt so i did eventually figure out oh just keep putting in answers until the dot goes away <laughs> Like, basically, just try again. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Craziness. But, yeah, I, that one... And that was pretty late, too, because I stayed up late to finish Orochi Tower. Oh, no. It, okay. I think I was that was after midnight or something. I, like, I think I was doing Orochi Tower at 1 in the morning because... I think that stream started with Nightmare Dream Palace. Then you do Orochi Tower. And I want to finish the tower. Oh, I beat the tower. I want to finish the penthouse. Like, you right. your wings. Do you want to... Yeah. <laughs> Just you want to do it all level. in one shot, yeah. Yeah, so I went pretty late that time. Mm. Uh, but by the time I was even doing Amy's stuff, it was pretty late. But yeah. That I always no, found is one of the killers. What, one of the killers I, for Secret World was, uh, is that right, if you start something too late, especially like an investigation mission, if you start it too late, it's, oh no, man, my brain's falling apart. I can't do some of these investigations. Not now. Or oh, it's like, goodness. I'm not sleeping. Like, yeah. Because I don't have too much of a problem with that, but I definitely, I, I have 100% before just stayed up. There's just no point in going to sleep. It's now 5.30 <laughs> in the morning. Yes. The sun's coming up. I'm just going to make coffee. And deal. Yeah, there's no point in doing this. That's fair. That's fair. So yeah, we're currently hanging out, I believe, in one of, one of Drina's sets. What are they up to? What are yeah, they, I, I think it's her May the 4th. Yeah, Drina's got uh, up May like the a fourth show. DJ stream. Or okay. not stream, but DJ like a stream. I don't know what yeah. you technically call it. It's a stream. Uh, show. 
Did I promote it? I actually promoted it. Okay. <laughs> it may, uh, it's a May the 4th show. We're here joining along with DJ Drina here in Agartha. I was like, wait, now I, now I think I retweeted that for... Uh, yes, I did. So we're here dancing along with them while we do the show. Why not? Just join everything together. What else do I got here? So the other news that, that I found was basically for other games. But two interesting points. One one is for Conan Exiles, and the other one is for Dune Spice Wars. Conan Exiles is coming up on its fifth anniversary, which is coming up May 8th. That game's been up for five years now. So there will be a live stream on May 8th with giveaways, hangouts with chat, and sharing your favorite memories. If you want your memories read on stream, use the hashtag, hashtag five years of exile on Twitter, or fill out a form that they posted on the tweet. So you can fill out like a, where does the form lead? It's like a survey, survey monkey or something like that. But they posted, they said, greetings, exiles. May 8th will mark the fifth anniversary of Conan Exiles, and we are banding together with the community to celebrate this monumental day. Hosted by our community managers, we'll be playing Conan Exiles, having fun quizzes, and sharing in the festive spirit by giving away in-game bundles. There may also be some surprise guest appearances, so mark your calendars and join us for a few hours of blood, glory, and tons of fun. So if you want to if you want to go bother some of the community managers, that's going on May 8th, which is always fun. What is that, Monday? Sure. Is that what May 8th is? If you say so, man. I yeah, it is Monday. Know. What an interesting time to have a live stream, but there you go. Hey, Scratch. Thanks for the Welcome. Raid. Raiders. Raiders. How you doing, Scratch? What were you playing tonight? What were you up to? What were you Your up to? Your mom's. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Redfall. You're playing Redfall. Interesting. Oh, we were talking about Redfall. We were bit. just talking about Redfall and its secret worldness and not so much. It's a Scratch. What do you think? Yeah, what is your completely and totally unbiased opinion of why it sucks? <laughs> Sorry, I tickled myself there. Uh, they play with someone's mom, apparently. Like I said, it's a decent game. Not $70, but it's a decent game. What's the price point that you think would be appropriate? Going, um, going back on this time. Five dollars. <laughs> $5. <laughs> I say 30 to 40 30 40 Okay. Yeah. So what I was going to say about the co-op part was like, not only is there not a ton of just straight co-op games, not an mm-hmm. MMO, but just a co-op that's a little easier to drop into. That's not just straight up fucking CSGO or something. It, like right. a co-op kind of adventure game. They're a little harder to find. And, mm-hmm. and then something in this genre that's like that. So I think even if it's bad, it's probably got a niche because there isn't a whole bunch else out there. Of the of yeah, like you could find a game that in that genre, and you can find a co-op game, but can you find a co-op game in that genre? Oh my gosh, probably yeah. not. It'd be hard to do. I would say that uh, it probably has a like a little bit of an edge, or maybe even some staying power, regardless of how wonky some of its stuff is or maybe underdeveloped some parts of it are just mm-hmm. because of those aspects and if it picks up for that reason alone we could probably see see yeah, like Astrid. a pickup in Astrid. in the you know all the maybe or at least, it de- yeah it depends it depends how much of an in, like investment they have in it or not like I said, mm-hmm. that, like at least from the rumblings I've heard, which are like third hand or something, right? It was there seemed to be some indication that maybe the studio was tasked with it and didn't really fucking care. And they're like, we want to be done with this and go do shit we want to do, or some or something to that effect. That's fair, because because who did it? It was Arcane Austin. Yeah, Arcane. Okay. Which are 
not known for products of hey, lower caliber, I guess. Ill repute. I wasn't, I wasn't saying ill repute, <laughs> but I think the game would be getting who as is much this shit. Studio? The game wouldn't be getting as much shit if A, it wasn't fucking $70, and B, it wasn't coming from a studio that you expect a lot more from. Yeah, that's the thing. Is they're pushing it out as a AAA title. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. If it was like, if it was a, a, a lower tier publisher, or a lower, mm-hmm. not publisher, but a lower tier company, and we're putting it out, and it was like 30 bucks or something, I think it would be received far more favorably. Oh yeah. yeah, for sure. But the fact that it's the fact that it's like arcane, and then it's like, what the fuck did you guys do here? Seventy dollars. <laughs> Why is this seventy dollars? Why is it fucking thirty FPS on consoles? Yeah, locked to yeah, thirty locked FPS in. on consoles. What the fuck? Like you just... think because it was supposed to be released last year, they delayed it till May of this year. You would think, oh, we should really work on the FPS issue. Yeah, I'm just saying that's that's ass. And to say this game seventy dollars also locked to thirty FPS on console. What? So rough. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I mean. Like it's got if its price tag wasn't so crazy, people would probably forgive. Early, I they still wouldn't forgive it, but they'd be like more forgiving. It wouldn't it be, as, be as as vitriol that it's being hit. Right yeah, now. the blemish wouldn't be as large. Yeah. Like. If you're like a indie developer with a twenty thirty dollar game and you're locked at thirty FPS, people are like, well, that's ass and you should fix that. But that's yeah, but that's like a pimple on your face. When it's right. arcane asking seventy dollars, it's good God, man. Where did that fucking growth that's taken up half your face come from? That is the blemish <laughs> that's on there. Mm-hmm. Right now. It's bad. Also, and also, like, what the? F- yeah, I don't know. It, I couldn't help but see that shit and be like. All right, someone just played Secret World a bunch and was like, we can make a 3D shooter of this. Right. What if this, but 3D shooter? And it's okay. That's not really a terrible option on its own in the first place. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But But. it's a little on the nose and a lot. I think I was, we were talking in stream. I was streaming the other night and Shogun's was in stream and playing, I think, like Devil's Advocate or whatever. And Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. They're like, well, yeah, sure, it's got vampires and whatever, so it must be like Secret World. I was like, no, but it's no, yeah, it, or yeah. it's in Maine, and okay, Maine, the, there's a lighthouse, yeah, but it's like in Maine with a lighthouse and the wrecked, like Polaris ship, almost exactly, and there's yeah. just too many things together. You're like, there's a lot going on. That's yeah. There's so many factors together that look that in in the one trailer too. You can mm-hmm. choose what you show in a trailer. You showed a goddamn Secret World trailer is what you did. <laughs> you know what you did. Astrid's saying, oh, they started a new character in Secret World. Being Sarah again maybe more emotional than I thought it would. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That is, that is kind of the curse of Secret World is that when you start going through the game a second time, you start seeing everything. Because Secret World opens up very slowly. And so, yeah. When it's like when you start going through it again and you see all the stuff from all the stuff from the uh, what you know at the end by based on what you know in the beginning um, that's all right eventually after like your 30th character you'd be like sarah you bitch <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you <laughs> get over it sarah come on i've had enough of your shit stop trying to shoot me in the face but do i swear to god I, like at, so i just started I, we talked about i started a new run so i just started a new character what sunday monday Monday. I started okay. a new character Monday. I already, together. Noticed, I already noticed something I hadn't noticed before. Or at least I don't remember noticing before. What was it? Thursday. What a concept. <laughs> it was... Bomber was there. Bomber, where was the part where the, li- the liquefied kittens were trying to drown me? What part was that? The liquefied I kittens? I can't remember. The heck are you talking about? Oh yeah, the Atlantic Island Park, Lover's Lake. You know when you have to okay. go in the lake and it has like a slow? Oh yes. Okay. Okay. That slow, if you read it, is the dead kittens dragging you down. Yes, yes. And I don't 
so I can't say I never read it and noticed it, but it's been like almost 10 years of me playing. So if I did ever notice it, I have since forgotten and re-noticed it. But I was like, I don't remember this shit. I didn't remember the Lover's Lake snare buff. I remember it being annoying as fuck, being snared and having to walk super slowly to get out. I didn't remember reading it and realized that it's dead kittens fucking pulling you down. That's what's mm-hmm. slowing you. Oh yeah, and the Fallen King mentions the Black Signal when, if you're in the Templar, in, going through the Templar intro, you have that sequence where the Fallen King guy is talking with his puppet, and then you black out and you do the subway stuff with Sarah. Yeah. But he mentions the Black Signal as you pass out. <laughs> he literally says the words, the Black Signal. And I was like, wait, I don't, re- I don't remember hearing that before. Now, granted, you're only ever going to hear that once in a playthrough, and only if it's a Templar, right? Now, I've made, like, multiple characters of every faction, so I've made, I don't know, a half a dozen Templars or better, but that might be the first time I noticed slash realized. It's right as you pass out and the tutorial starts, the subway section starts. But yeah, he mentions, like, the Black Signal, I think Black Signal Rising, Okay. I think is the phrase, like, right as your character passes out. But yeah, so literally, like, I think day one or day two or both days of a new character and literally 15,000 hours in the game. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck is this? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah. It's that sort of game where they made it to had the entire game basically all planned out from the, or at least not every single detail, but like the major, yeah, the, the major beats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from the beginning and they made it through, through past Tokyo what those major B points would have been. So if Secret World released, say development continues and they, they end up, sorry, I'm like, my, my cat is trying to make its way behind my computer desk. She has done this before. She is trying to basically turn off my computer. What are you doing? Get out from there. Psycho, come on. What are you doing? But yeah, but they had the entire thing all planned out so that if they like did finally come up with with Congo, that suddenly there would be a lot more stuff in the game that were like, oh, now that makes sense. Yeah, because they've already played planned through all that already after the whole vanishing of Tyler Freeborn thing, just being in New England again is emotional. Oh, yeah. Tyler Freeborn. It's fantastic. That's why I wish since I know we're not really going to get any more content that they can release some of this like in a comic or a book or something. Oh, you mean like the story? Yeah, the story. I would say we don't know. It's unlikely right now. It's, it's not necessarily impossible that stuff ever comes out again. It's unlikely, but it's not impossible. And I'm not just saying that to be like stupidly optimistic. I'm just saying that based on the fact that both Age of Conan and Anarchy Online got something done with them in like the 15 or 20 year mark (laughs) so i'm saying it's not impossible so you're saying there is a chance (laughs) i'm saying there's a chance at some point in the future that they go oh you know what let's throw something this way either as like an in-between like if everyone if their development basically like slows down on dune or slows down on conan exiles and they're like you know what just let's throw some love interest in the ip in general perks up or something i don't know guys you need to make my secret world tiktoks go viral and that will (laughs) obviously influence them to to make more content i think that's truly the way right that's how the world works now so tiktok's the way to go yeah you got to have that pop-off moment on tiktok and then they'll be forced they'll be forced to pay attention so we gotta do our dances No, I was making a, I was uploading a secret TikTok like every day. And then I, I don't know, I got sick or something happened and I just stopped for a little bit. So I, I uploaded that spike one. Literally, I think it had over 400 views like the same day I uploaded it. Like it's, which is like more than my YouTube shit does. And I don't know fucking anybody on TikTok. That's just people yeah, organically it's just, fucking running it's into just, it. It's just, yeah, it's just shoving it into other people's feeds. And, yeah, uh, it's a, I think it's just a bigger, maybe a bigger pool, 
or because the content's shorter it's i think that's it i think it's it has that twitter effect like the content yeah. is much shorter so you can go through a lot of it much quicker yeah as you said i theorize we all have 20 characters and we all try to officially beat jimmy's cosmetic speed run and make a leaderboard for it <laughs> i wish you the best of luck with that one because i there's actually i have a new a new strat to possibly shave time off my own but i even i don't want to do it because my other run was so good that even with the new strat i'm like man i have to do everything else perfect i don't want to do that again it's like a one and done and i took a couple of tries to get it to to get it in the first place but which means like days though e- even on even the eight hour cooldown i can't reset the mission or i guess you you can you no not really not for the speed run like basically you just have to fucking go and not fuck it up so that means like i'm doing like the floating puzzle jump shit at sprint six as fast as possible just yeah. like, jump 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 and you can't miss that's I would like say, not... if, say if you want a game to really practice your jumping puzzles at, if you've ever played Guild Wars 2, or know anything about it, Guild Wars 2 has some of the most craziest jumping puzzles in at least any MMO I've played. Yeah, like, but I also did Cost of Magic and... Invisible. That too. Yeah. <laughs> Which was pretty pretty crazy, because I couldn't see my character to know when to jump. I just You just have to feel it. Just a guess, yeah. Like the, it really is. Do you really become attuned to just gut knowing where your invisible self is? And then it's like a depth perception thing. You're like, oh, I, if I run in a, a wall here, that's about where I am. And you just you keep that field of view idea in your head. I also did it upside down. And then what? The other time I did it with the flicker bug. That was super fun. <laughs> I guess. Flickerbug is like doing it invisible, but only I was going to say, yeah, just makes the world more invisible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it makes the thing you're going to land on invisible. But only sometimes. And it flickers in and out. So it's don't have a seizure and also hit all the planets. <laughs> that was like the one YouTube video where I had, I literally had to go look up how to put like warnings in front of videos, find a okay. template for it. Okay. Because I have a warning in front of the flicker bug cost of magic. <laughs> because legitimately that could be a problem. Right. It could yeah, put out like yeah. Trigger. With all the with all the flashing lights and whatnot. Yeah, you just want to be super careful with that. So maybe here's my cost of magic speedrun, invisible, teleport only, blindfolded, earmuffs, and I'm not <laughs> Hold on, I could probably do that. Let's see. Invisible hub you can invisible hoverboard, yeah, that's fine. Blindfolded would be harder. Earmuffs shouldn't matter. Not even home. I, that just means like I could do it like remotely from like a hotel or something. So that, that's fine. So of all of that, the blindfold's probably like the only remotely difficult part. Mostly because not because the movements couldn't be figured out, but I'd need someone else to tell me when I fail. Yeah, Astrid. You don't give him any ideas. Yeah, you're like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> After this is this kind of bullshit is how I ended up doing Dark Agartha E10 on a rubber chicken. Because fucking Leo Grimm posted that in the Discord. And I was like, hold on. Can I like, do Dark Agartha on a rubber chicken? Let me think about this. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> and yes, I did it on a rubber chicken. So, yeah. Now, sometimes people suggest things that are just, like, like insane. And not, just, like, basically not doable. It's like, that's not a challenge. That's just not a possible thing. I still want to see you use the power glove. I need to get a power glove. That would probably be the, one of the easier runs, really. <laughs> I don't think it would be that difficult. It'd just be fun. Yeah. I've always wanted be, a power glove It would just be anyways. cool, yeah. I looked into it. I even had a... It's a different controller. Have, uh, thing to raise money for it on my stream at some point but it it didn't it, it didn't get enough backing to do anything so it just never happened i think it's somewhere like in the neighborhood of 150 dollars or something between trying to at least at the time it could be more now like trying to acquire a power glove in the first place and then the usb like adapter shit for it 
I think I ended up buying like guitar adapter shit and doing the guitar run. I think that's what I think that's it, okay. What ended up happening? Because there was a few people that donated, but it was nowhere the goal, which was unfortunate. And it was up there for a, quite a while. I need to try again. I I would Vulner, I'd rather at some point I'll just go buy it myself or something because I don't want to do like a donation thing again and then not be able to do it because then I feel bad about getting the donations in the first place. So I would rather just at some point I'll find one and splurge on it or something, and then I, and then I'll just do it. I don't want I don't want to fundraise again and certainly not for the same thing I failed to fundraise on before. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like a bad taste in my mouth. But yeah, something else that would be kind of Power Glove. I have a Connect bar around here somewhere. <gasps> I remember back when I was first messing around because somehow I ended up with two Connect bars. Don't ask me how. I don't remember what happened. I somehow okay. got a Connect bar and then got, also had an Xbox with a Connect bar. So I had two Connect bars. So I had one okay. hooked up to my computer and I installed all the software and I don't know, figure I would it say out. There, there was a point that they really like they they made it. They put out the software to make it applicable for Windows as well. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I like got it all yeah. set up to be able to use the Connect to like control my mouse on my computer, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna click." <laughs> <laughs> so the Connect is a possibility theoretically. I'd have to get. I have to go find the Connect bar again and dig into. I'm sure it's come probably a little bit of a ways as far as applications. But that would be something that I technically already have somewhere. Um, I say I actually have a Connect. The only console that I have connected to my TV right now is literally like the original, like the Xbox 360 with the Connect attachment to it. So I actually still have that connected to my TV with yeah, the Connect bar on I top. Do, I think I do as well. Um, but it really is. But that's part of what made it really cool is that it was like it was actually really cool technology. Yeah, I remember back in California, I had uh, I had built like a backyard theater screen, and then we would hook the Connect up and the Xbox to the projector, and then okay. just put the Connect bar, the center bar, like way out in the yard on a chair, mm -hmm. and then we would play the Connect games. Fucking huge! <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, and because it's outside, you could like go all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, the much bigger range. I don't know what the Steel Battalion controller is. It was a drive-in Connect theater, yeah. I used to so the Connect came with an adventure game to to cause your starter game. It was called I think it was just called Connect Adventures. It had a bunch of do two player dodge duck jump stuff or collect rings or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we would just play that shit for shots. Like <laughs> we Steel would just Battalion drink. controller? I see it. I see a picture of this Steel Battalion like? controller. It's basically like a stick and rudder, three foot pedals. There's a lot of buttons on there. It looks like it's basically designed to do, I don't know, I guess anything from truck driving to... Oh, it's a mega game. It's a $250 controller. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll say it's a pretty extreme controller. Okay. Mecha makes sense. Right. One for the... one. Like one for the legs and one for the top section. Like moving the top section and moving the legs differently. Yeah, but that would be like over that. I think that would be too easy. Yeah, that's what that's my guess too. Is like there's a lot there's of controls on there. Yeah. yeah. Like you would just be like, like a... okay, this button does this. Fine. Yeah. But I don't know if it was like a steering wheel with a couple foot pedals, and you only have steering wheel like gas brake clutch and like turbo buttons or something on the steering wheel. Like that would be more limiting and weird. Right. But if you have a mecha thing with a thousand buttons, you just bind the buttons and now you're just pressing buttons. It's not yeah. terribly difficult. But doing it through a connect where every motion is your body motion. Yeah, that could be something. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty awful. That, that would For remind me. me of your, of your doing it on a, you're playing on a, on the treadmill, on the treadmill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, eventually you're just going to hurt yourself, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, imagine if I was playing on the treadmill with the Kinect. Oh, no. So, 
So I mean, what about one of those? It's similar to. I think maybe what would be easier is maybe like simultaneously on one of those like DDR foot pads. Oh yeah, yeah. People have said the DDR thing before. They, but again, that's just it is yeah. just buttons, but it's a little more, it's a little different because. But you're yeah, it requires around. your legs. Like yeah, that's true. I would have to get one. I don't have one. I don't have a DDR pad, but. <laughs> Bomber just says they picked one up from a thrift shop last week. All right, well, if you mail it to me, I will do a secret one. <laughs> oh my god, last train to Cairo. Last train to Cairo invisible. The middle section was so awful because I couldn't see the bars. I could only see the bars' shadows. Oh my gosh, okay. And so I was trying to, I couldn't see myself to see where I exactly was. And I'm trying to time my jump versus this shadow racing at me. It was like, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So, like, I did jump a couple of the big bars. Uh, yeah. I was able to avoid most of the small bars because I could just move to the, I would see where the shadow was coming, what side it was on, and move to the other side. The big bars, I got hit by a lot of them. Oh, it just sure, wasn't, yeah. it was, <laughs> I did jump a couple of them, though. It wasn't a complete, like, failure. But I definitely, definitely try, because I also, I don't know why, but, only seeing the shadow coming at you feels faster. I was like, holy fuck, these things are moving fast. The shadow's just like, no. <laughs> and I feel like they don't look that fast when I yeah, actually no, see they, the bar. In actual play, they're probably not that fast at all, but right. They're not stupid slow, <laughs> but for whatever reason, the sh I don't know if the shadow rendering is different or whatever. And I also not still not to this day sure if the shadow's rendering in front of or behind the bar because that would depend on the angle of the light source yeah so it that would also affect what i need to time my jump for that shit. but yeah that was a little bit of a mini nightmare for sure fantastic SWR yeah. fox says yeah steering steering wheel run with auto run always on so you're literally driving your character just that's funny that would be problematic i think i wonder he still used the brake, is he? But you have to actually have to like hold down the brake in order to use the brake to make your character stand still. What would that do, though? I don't know if there's a function for that in the game. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You could hold down the brake, but what would that do to make your character stop? Yeah, there isn't a slowdown function. No, and Imagine also, it be actually, a mod even specifically, all like of them, a, run always on forward. would require a mod as well because auto run falls off all the time for all kinds of reasons. Yeah. It'd I'm sure Fox would love to forward. make a mod to fuck with me <laughs> in that fashion. So I don't know if that's necessarily a problem. But I know you wouldn't be able to do it with the default auto run because it would just fall off all the time. Because I use auto run quite frequently. Like a stupid amount. Like my character's going to run like 12 feet and I'm like auto run. <laughs> auto run. <laughs> I just push the button. No, Go. But I also noticed something weird I've started doing lately, just speaking of weird controller things, is I'll hold the controller in my left hand and be using my thumb on the thumbstick. I think, is it my, or my right? I think it's my left. Yeah, my left is go forwards or backwards or left, right. So mm -hmm. I'll push forwards and then I'll change direction with my mouse. <laughs> like I'm just running around right now holding forwards on the thumbstick, but I'm using my mouse to turn around. <laughs> Okay. All right. I, I don't know when do exactly it. I started doing that, but like I just noticed I tend to flip the queen controller and keyboard and mouse so much that at some point I just started doing them together. Steering wheel auto run in the dusty dark. So the hardest parts of that would be the stupid insta fucking kill you acid pit. And the uh, invisible bridge. But even then, like the invisible bridge is probably. I just need to practice it more. I need to practice the invisible bridge more because theoretically you should be able to skip parts of it by jumping. You just have to jump invisibly correctly. <laughs> the, the path is there, right? You just can't see it. But you should, in theory, be able to jump and not have to walk around the whole thing, right? You should be able to jump from one section to another. 
You just have to know where it is and be able to make the jump. I think, honestly, I think potentially the acid bath shit is more of a problem. Because that poison is so, fe- so dead. That is, I think, the most deadly poison in the game. Okay. You know, you know what I'm talking about? The part that has, like, acid on the floor and then the little poison darts. And you have to, like, walk along the little broken pillars. In the du- This is in the Dusty Dark, right? Yeah. Waffle, you're going to log out. Oh, you I know. Got it. I was waiting for it. He likes to get to the very end. Make it exciting. It was a will he or won't he moment. That's right. Will he get it? Will he get it in time? We, should, we can make like a channel. Bet, bet your channel points. <laughs> will Waffle will... remember to click the button? The one will day Waffle... that he goes... To pick Playing up his, his login uh, rewards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the one day he picks up his login rewards. Oh, we should open like every stream with a poll. Or not a Will poll, he? but like a gamble. Gamble your channel points and gamble whether or not he'll claim his login rewards on that stream. And there'll be like one person one time that may, like bets against everyone and then he does it by accident and, win, and they win a billion channel points. Be like, I'd be like the lottery, just winning the lottery. Yep. Be like, I did it. A lot of I other did stream. It. That's a big thing in a lot of other streams. I haven't done that. I probably should. But a lot of streams do a that. A lot of betting. Like, like with your channel points. Because you get yeah. free channel points just for watching. Mm-hmm. They'll do things like, am I going to, will I die to this next boss or something like that? One really? of the funnest uses that I've seen somebody do is they would have periodically a. They would basically be the host of a CPU versus CPU fighting game tournament. Okay. And they would just set it up. Okay, it's going to be this person versus this character. And they would have the whole brackets or the whole system going down. And then for every fight, they would do a betting your points as to who would win. Oh, nice. (laughs) For every single fight. So it was very much a... Rainbows! Holy Jesus Christ. We got more rainbows. So many rainbows. But that's probably, but yeah, when it comes down to betting, that's probably one of the funnest, funnest ways that I've seen that done yet is like betting on each individual fighter for a, for a CPU versus CPU tournament. Yeah. Because you don't have to actually do anything. You just get it yeah. set up and let it go. But in a way they still do because what they're doing is while it's going on, they're being like the, like the announcer for it. Like they're yeah, the, the shoutcaster. Yeah. <laughs> And I think the last game they did that for was it was like a Sonic the Hedgehog fighting game, and it was like all these characters from Sonic the Hedgehog fighting each other. It was really weird, but it's like, I'm down for it because that's that's some weird. Okay, we fun can do stuff. that. Hear me out. Hear me okay. out. Okay. We have Rosen Brawl, or technically we have the other PvP arenas as well, but I think Rosen Brawl would just be more fun. Okay. We have Rosen Brawl. We have Photo Mode. Okay. So Waffle puts on photo mode, and we make a couple of us the the some characters in the game, and then right. we, we battle. Right, like, people go. People can show up like one like, v one. Offer to and people can show up and be next, and we just make mm-hmm. them different characters. And you could have Diamond versus Kirsten in beta versus mm-hmm. the what's his face from Susano Diner. Okay. Sam, the, yeah, yeah. The big samurai guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We could yeah. do. We could make a list in, in an Excel sheet of, or like a bracket, and then oh, have yeah. the photo mode codes so we can look them up and just apply them to um, have them fight. That'd be fucking cool. Akashi, yes, thank you. I right? like it. That'd be pretty sweet. I really like this idea. So, what do you think, Waffle? Since you'd be the. You'd have to be the one changing all the people's things. It's pretty easy with the mod. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty much down for it. Because the mod has an option to do yourself all or a target. So you just make it target. And then Fox made it so you can literally like type in the search box. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't even have to know the ID anymore. You could just type in a name and you'll find it and then hit apply. So we can make it, we can make it like, yeah, it'd be like a fighting game basically. Yeah. Yeah. We, we could do a bracket run. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. Just switch it up. I'm like, just... all right, you're Kirsten Geary now. And then you're, yeah. You're, uh, I don't know, Emma. <laughs> Go. 
Exactly. All Rose and Raw. All Rose and Raw. Rose and Raw. I like it. I like it. Do we even have channel points? Nah, the I... channel's not an affiliate. Ah. We can get like uh... some third party sort of thing. I know what? Determined has something like that. They have channel points, but they're like through through a chat bot. Yeah, we could do we could figure out something. We can figure it out. Yeah. I like it though. Yeah, and because I think I know what you're talking about. I knew someone else that did that too. They had their own thing and it wasn't part of Twitch. I think it was even free channel points. It was like they would give a I think they call it callers. Uh, but they would also like award them to you. So like here's a okay. thousand to start with or something. Yeah, you can do that like stream elements or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that'd be I think that's that'd a great idea cool. for March. That'd be a fun March Madness thing, but we're well past March at this point, and <laughs> I would want to do that well, sooner. It could be. We're not too far off from the anniversary. The anniversary that could be an anniversary thing. Yes, that could be like an anniversary. Oh, I like it. We I can like make it. Some like fight promotional posters. You know what I mean? Just bring in. It'd be uh just it's basically like, right. Well, so, so you get brawl. No, no, this is one on one. This is the one v one fight. The fuck. Madrina said, oh my god, I know these weird shows. <laughs> so, Madrina, is your show done already? We're kind I like of... it. So yeah, I think maybe anniversary, and we could do, I don't know, Rumble and Rosen, a Rosen Brawl or something? Rosen Brawl. In the... It's not a jungle. But I really want to make like a fight poster and have like at least two of the NPCs on it, if not more. Or maybe multiple fight posters with just like potential matches. With their, yeah, with you their would have to set up, it up yeah. for three small matches before you get to the headliner. Yeah, yeah. And then the finale would just be like whoever it is versus a Gaia engine. <laughs> Something stupid. I like this idea. Yeah, I'm looking at different. You guys, wait, you saw. Hey, oh, speaking of type. dumb secret world things I've done aside from the run, did you see this week's raid? Yes, I did. I retweeted that as well. The self illuminated. You, <laughs> you were a, you were a, you were like a, a test box. You were a. It's a test cube. Were... I found the test cube in the, <laughs> the photo test... mode, and I was like, yeah. "This is awesome." Like just... the RGB, yeah, test cube, yeah. Yeah, I just made everyone a test cube, which was mildly difficult to play as. The thing is, when I do that shit, no one else in the raid sees that. That's fine. yeah, no, every... it's yeah. just me. But mm. now I can't see fucking anything. Because all these giant cubes are covering up everything. I nearly stood in a fist like a couple of times because I couldn't see the fist on the ground because my the giant ass cubes, both mine and everyone else's, were covering it up. And I almost never saw the ads in the ad phase of the raid because all the other players would be giant cubes shooting the ads. And so every once in a while, I'd see like an arm stick out of a cube. Oh, there's an ad. Let me shoot that direction. <laughs> It was pretty, pretty ridiculous. I was cra I was legitimately laughing my ass off at the end when the cinematic came up. <laughs> just like these giant cubes was, just hanging out. Alex turns around to be like, "What?" <laughs> I was, like, was going to say, Drina. Sorry, yeah, sorry we couldn't like tune into the music while we've been dancing over here. That's why we're still dancing. We have our own internal music, but we can't. The problem is we can't stop it because it's just, you see, it's just always going to go it, on. It can't, it won't, and it don't stop. I just gotta dance. <laughs> Dancing's illegal. Yeah, right, where's my elements? I can do contests where people can do a bet. Okay. And nice. I can have set it up for a time. What we can do is we could actually give it, give all the people who are participating in the betting like all the same amount of points, and then yeah. by the end, see who has the most points. As well. They can put in as many points as they want. They can put, if we give everyone a thousand points from the beginning of a match, they can put a thousand or 500. It depends on whatever they want. Yeah, yeah. I assume it's a yakety sax in your heads at all time. Close, close. It's... Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen. By uh, Abba, usually. No, are we human or are we dancer? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that's my internal. That's why, no, for some reason, that one comes to my mind because I had Dancing Queen by Abba stuck in my head for weeks in high school. I don't know why. Just <laughs> every time it was just down here, it was like, dun, dun, dun. I was like, oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> it's safe, safety dance in yours. Okay. 
See, at least that's more like a. I wouldn't mind that one so much as. Oh, Action I have no idea. Contest has started. Will I win the next game? Yeah, I played that. Oh, in. nice! That's the stream element thing. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, we could do that. We could have people bet. The person who wins the most, I can find another. I can do that same company where I sent I send Vomer an actual little statue. <laughs> be like if you're within a distance of me i will mail you a actual trophy i've done it before don't think i won't do it again all right it's not going through i have to play around with this that's what she said if you're gonna do that i'm gonna bet i'm gonna bet lose everyone else is betting win i think that what you, i think waffles testing the <laughs> bet, yeah. bet lose seven thousand don't you have to have <laughs> Don't you have to give the points? First? Yeah, you gotta have some points. All right, we gotta have, gotta have points in the first place. I like that you're <sighs> betting to lose. <laughs> Be like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Wait, could you bet on your bet losing? You just bet against yourself. <laughs> it's throw a bet, it. bet. Whatever it is, you you can throw. I'm it gonna game. bet. I'm gonna bet a hundred on that guy to win, and I'm gonna bet a thousand on me to lose my bet. No, it's not you, Madrina. It's not you, Drina. It's not. It's, uh, it's whatever the back end stream elements thing here is. Don't worry about it. It's not. Uh, it's not like we explained it. It's fine. It's fine. Also, Waffle doesn't have it working well either. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's or, over well, nine thousand. You know what I mean? We're doing it live. He's playing around with seeing if he can get it to work. Yeah. But the point is that presumably by the time of the anniversary, we can probably have it figured out. That's in June, so yeah. Next um, month. Yeah, it gives us a little bit Come of time to, to play around with some stuff. And I can make fight posters. So the anniversary should be there well we it should be near like the end of June, really. Yeah. We can come the... up with cool names for the NPCs. Big Daddy Rosenbaum. I don't know. You know, like <laughs> the, Kirsten the Rumble executive... the Monks Geary. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Now up, Damon Chaos Kyoto. No, I think his should be Clown Baby. Clown Baby? <laughs> <laughs> it is very chaotic. It's true. I think his should be Clown Baby. I think <laughs> Diamond Clown Baby Kyoto would fit perfectly. Just use their Twitter handles? Yeah. Don't try and stifle my creativity, goddammit. I like it. I like it. Now that we Hard have... Carter, um, I'm going to make your nose bleed. I feel like she's always getting... Is it just me? Is it actually happening in the game? If It feels like Carter's kind of what's-her-face from Stranger Things. Very much, yeah. She's going to lose. She's gonna use her powers and have a nosebleed. But Carter, I, in this case, would it has come first in this instance. The sort of kid, too much power, prodigy. <laughs> Bong cha ugly bear. <laughs> <laughs> Or was it Fat Bear? I'm okay with either one. Bong the cardboard cutout cha. Ah, no longer accepting bets. Oh, we could get two people to walk back and forth as the twins from the Templar mission. They could be the they could be the card the car girls. Okay. Yeah. Pit no, not pendulum? Pit and Pendulum. Pit and Pendulum aren't twins. <laughs> No, the Templar, it's the Egypt transition mission. I literally just did it. Where you have the one in the older guy in the library, if I'm looking at his name, right? In the Templar library. He's got the huge yes. long beard. Yeah. And then uh, in, in Temple Club, yes. And there's those incredibly suggestive twins that are hanging out with him. They're like the, to, the like, sort of like Rasputin esque character. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Which faction is the best? Win lose command three. What? <laughs> mine. Can I just put mine? <laughs> Hold on. Wow. Waffle just baited the shit out of armor. No, I did it wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Open the contest. Closed it right as Vomer bet, and then Vomer <laughs> denied. There's no contest running. Just a epic a trolling. Epic. Yeah, an epic. Epic. You went for the high five, and they went, nope. <laughs> gotcha. No, I know what I did wrong. Got him. Here we go. Which is which faction is the best? There you go. All right. 
It's called copy of which faction is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even read that. Copy of which faction is the best. But I had to copy it. Hold on, let me. Now that's a different question. Copy of which faction is the best? Right. Which so one is which the best? faction is the best copy? I'll never figure out which one is the best original. It's which one is the best copy. Yes. Refim has bet 69 points. That tracks. Fox bet 666. That tracks. Mike bet 420. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, hold on. I have to. Let's see. I can. Wait. How do I. Oh, I can't. Can I not go in the chat? Oh, I can do it over here. Never mind. Never mind. Head points, a thousand points all. A thousand, a thousand was not found. <laughs> Okay, everybody's got a thousand points. Now we, now we all have a thousand. I need points. more than that. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, Azrael just bet a nine hundred ninety-nine. Oof. To twenty-five users, twenty-five users is impressive because our view count is not that high. Twelve, maybe. Oh, you logged out. Who won the? Uh, who won the? Oh, uh, see, I knew we needed to have a poll for that. I knew it. We could do that at the start of every stream. Is open a betting thing. And then, like, maybe a half hour into the stream, close it. And then just at the end of the stream, resolve, like, whether Waffle logged out that stream or not. <laughs> that would be fucking great as, like, a recurring thing. Will Ocho's cat terrorize the stream like he did tonight? I feel like that's a safe bet. Waffles that's, is a, that's a pretty a, safe bet. Yeah. Waffles is a little bit more of an up in the air. See, I was distracted. And then Ocho's we cat also... needs to come on the air and get kitty kisses. Did you not see her? For... I didn't point her out, but there was one point I had her in my arms and trying to keep, because she kept going behind my computer. Because what she does is she tries to go behind my computer and tries to step on the, the multi-plug. And she tries to step on that in order to turn off electronics. And she did not succeed. She tried, though. She tried. She did not succeed. But I was trying to hold on to her to, like... Because she was using a little crazy mood, and then she saw the light on the my microphone, and decided to attack my microphone. And then at one point, she was up on the back of my chair, chasing her tail for ten minutes. <laughs> Bomber, if one of your eyes is not working well, then maybe it needs a write up, a performance review. <laughs> what? It needs a write up and a performance review. It's not working well. It needs its supervisor to take a look at it. Yeah, no, she's usually a sweetheart, but sometimes she gets crazy. Sometimes she is, she gets really, she, she doesn't like the fact that I'm so, that I'm over here talking. Basically is what it comes down to. She's like, who are you talking to? What are you doing over there? I want to join in. All right, contest is almost over. Is it? Oh, yeah. wait, now I have points. Hurry up, 42 uh, seconds. Take him away. The error occurred while placing your bet. You already have entered the contest. Oh, never mind. I'm good. You okay. already put in points. I already put in 420. Trying to double dip and cheat the system. <laughs> For shame. I'm testing it to see if it, they're testing the bugs of the system. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm, it's good. It did not work. Good. It's working <laughs> as intended. Wait, the way it should be. All right, here we go. No longer accepting bets. I don't know why we're like watching over this. Go. Dragon, Dragon won the contest. Get 57.14. Okay. It was Illuminati was second. But the Templar Dragon are the best the last. copy of the best. The, <laughs> the copy of which faction is the best are the Dragon. It's They're the best copy. Wow. <laughs> got to read the got to read the question being asked to you. It's important. Yeah, so whoever picked Dragon Got those points. That's right. <laughs> How do we check our points? We just uh, like... It's exclamation points. Oh, we should see. Yeah, let's see. Uh, has 5,937 has... points. It is ranked 4 out of 90 on the leaderboard. Woohoo. <laughs> I'm ranked 2. You're I'm ranked, ranked two, 2 out of 90. Someone must have so bet more points than me or something. Who's 3? Zero point report is at five. My ranking is just happy to be here. I'm just happy to play along. I'm just you happy think to play that's along. a croissant on the platform? Think again, is dragon. I like that reference. It's is potato, 
which it is Dragon. <laughs> who's rank number one? Oh, is, it Mubot. Like, who's, is it Fox? <laughs> Here's the leaderboard. Oh my gosh. Click on an outside link. What do we got here? Leaderboard, number one. Moobot, right? With oh, 7,405. You gave the bot way more points than everyone else. Number three, Stream Elements has 6,000 points. <laughs> Dude, I, okay. I did really well. I did really well. Because <laughs> I beat one of the bots. It's because I, it's because I bet Leet. Oh, I the bet Elite's a good one. <laughs> yep, that's a good number. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to get rid of the uh, the bots out of this board. They can't get any points. Oh no! The bots are cheating. This is a scandal. It's a scandal, sir. <laughs> they're the Senate. Street. No, they're clearly dead voters. They're not alive. We call them AI, but we don't know how I they are. They're getting more human every day. It is still May the 4th. Because they are the Senate. It's a weird thing about Star Wars is that, right, periodically they're just like, we're going to get, like, su super political. That's why the when they made episode one in the theaters, I remember that because I was working at a movie theater when that ha when that came out. And I didn't actually see the beginning of the movie for a long time. I only saw the end of it like a thousand times. But <laughs> right. It's, but then when I saw the beginning of the movie, I was like, wait, this is about, so what's the point of this movie? It's about trade negotiations. And it's, uh, it's a matter of trade agreements between the, like, wait, what? <laughs> I thought this was Star Wars. Riveting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> quick, pick up a snowball. Oh, yeah fucking 10 of these or something and i've been deleting them all the time yeah the prequels ended up being over time the prequels ended up being very uh, it didn't end up being bad sure Just at the time oh, the it first, was like the first one was awful i don't know what you're talking about what's it the second one which one which one is there's a whole there's a whole watch call there's a whole oh you should watch star wars in this extra this like cut order and the cut order basically is oh, stop i not hit anybody what's going on here I need a target Oh, they stopped playing. That's why. Oh no, it's just us. Oh no, just oh, you no, and me, so buddy. <laughs> just you and me. And your I was Cheater not Snow, prepared. Your Cheater Snow Rampart thing. I did. Did you get? <laughs> Light of sighting my giant snowball. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Dodge this. Green and Company here are like, nope. This is too silly. This is too silly. I see your swords is as big as mine. That's right. <laughs> Turning around. I don't think it hits. It doesn't connect. And it's a much smaller snowball when you do it that way. What are your points at right now? By curiosity? Uh, not many. Huh? 17. <laughs> I think I got a couple I got a couple free ones. Yeah. But like I'm staying behind I'm staying behind my thing, but for some reason it's not targeting you otherwise. One minute. Riveting content, folks. Oh, no. I oh, damn you. I'm gonna hide behind Vomer. I will, <laughs> I will get one of these off, right? No. <laughs> the next 10 seconds? Unlikely. N no. Oh. Ah, I, I didn't like, even let me. I have 55 points or something like that, I think. 47. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so Jimmy the Rabbit is in first place now with points. <laughs> I took out Moobot and Stream Elements. Oh, your pile of snowballs turned into a tree. As it does. Oh, yeah. Weird. As they do here at Agartha. They tend to do that. Actually, believe it or not, we did have another piece of news. It wasn't Secret believe World related. Believe it or not. Sorry. Believe it or not, news. Breaking, breaking news. But it was about Dune Spice Wars. I wanted to let let people know about Dune Spice Wars, if you still play that game or you know about that game. It is basically an RTS of Dune. They put out a big announcement. They put out a big update. 
the announcement that they're going to have a big update. They say, so what are we working on at the moment? They said, quite frankly, a ton of stuff. But the Cliff Notes, a conquest, a brand new campaign, tutorials, a new faction. So they haven't revealed who yet, but they've got a new faction coming. Game customizations and hero characters. And what made me really stand out is that up until now, Dune Spice Wars has just been, it's an, been an RTS. You've, you've been able to basically just set up a round and go ahead and play it. But now they're doing this conquest mode, and this conquest mode will act as their campaign. It says, in conquest, players will take up the control of one of the major houses and fight through a number of unique scenarios and situations that will encourage the player to utilize every system at their disposal in order to progress. As players progress through the mode, they will be able to modify their starting house with a variety of perks and upgrades, like a, uh, sort of like a roguelike, in a way, but through an RTS, that will result in more interesting ways to tackle the many challenging objectives Conquest throws at them and ensure a unique experience every time they play. The goal of this mode is to encourage and reward players for experimenting with different play styles, allow the player to develop interesting, diverse, and unique builds over the course of each of their runs, and make full use of the various systems available in Dune Spice Wars to channel the core themes of the series and immerse the player, bless you, even further into this rich and iconic universe. <laughs> Each conquest run will provide around 10 hours of playtime with no two runs being alike and we're happy to share that this update is coming up next. He said, right now we're about 70% of what's planned for the game with the above additions probably rounding that out to about 95% with balancing map generation improvements and system overhauls also in the works that should bring us to 100% and ultimately release out of early access. So while there's still a lot of work to do, we're targeting a release out of early access towards the later half of the year, and we'll keep you on the loop on the front, on this front as we move through the roadmap. So I'm excited to see that. Yeah. As far as a Funcom game, one of the, one of the Dune property games that was the first to release. Because I like RTSs, but I like RTSs more when they have a point to them. That is my personal take. Yeah, I mean, that's like Conan Unconquered, right? Like, I played yes. I played through the... We played it a couple of times, like, just the modes or whatever. Have a good night, but, Drina. Like, Thank you for your show. Thank you for letting us dance behind it. Good night. But Bye. I played the conquest of that, right? Like, the, mm -hmm. the story mode, if you will, or whatever. Yeah. Conan Unconquered. I don't know. It gives, gives, it, gives it some kind of purpose... For those of mm -hmm. us that need a reason to do it. Which is it's like why you see lots of MMOs having like events. Or like Secret World has all their events. Sometimes it's just, it gives you something to do in the game. And so well, just having it, the event brings you in to do it. I think you're kind of like StarCraft or something, right? Like it's got a story. It, it like, And then if you really like it, you stay and play multiplayer versus other people or something. Like... The, as the story leads you to play the mechanics of the game yeah you, you learn to love the game via playing starcraft the story mm -hmm. and then you're like oh man i really like this building shit i'm gonna play it versus other people so yeah i 100 percent agree that i think that part is very important and i am psyched that they're gonna do that and so i imagine that these these unique scenarios they might not be heavily story coded but they'll be it sounds like they'll be like each like different for each one of the major houses. So they'll have different goals and different whatever. So you could play as a different houses because each house has its own different unique play style to it as well. So it'll allow you to go through them all, all more like that. But in the ways, like what I was saying about MMOs is Lord of the Rings Online. It's another that I play, but they just had their own anniversary event. And so going in and playing the anniversary event made me go, oh yeah, that's right. I can continue on the story that I was actually playing. I was I can continue on with the leveling process that I was actually doing. Uh, coming in and doing the anniversary jump jump started me to actually keep playing the game itself as well. I, I did the same thing with the New World Easter event. Yes. Like I I farmed the bunny head in in New World cuz bunny head mm -hmm. and then and, and then that, that allowed you to keep playing, you know, like a few more like a few more days or whatever. I actually leveled. I made it a good chunk further through the story now. I haven't played it probably like in a week now again. Yeah. But just because I'm doing other things, it, I totally re-engaged and gave the game a much fairer shake solely based on that event. That's the whole reason why they have events in the first place is to bring players back, which allows the players to see like the new content or anything else going on yeah. that they missed or just to continue on their own progress. 
Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that idea of the, the, the campaign coming in. Because otherwise, it's not like Dune Spice Wars is a bad game by any stretch. But it's there's just not a, lot, not a whole lot to do besides just playing, making your own. Yeah, um, and having a story making your like own map give, and running it. Having a story mode of any kind gives you like an incentive. And if it's done well, also is better. Like a long-term version of teaching you the game. Instead of a tutorial is like a short form, this is things we think you need to know, right? But mm-hmm. if you structured a, a campaign correctly, which is an art in and of itself, I'm mm-hmm. not saying that's, yeah, like that's dead yeah. easy or anything, but if you structure it correctly, then it's essentially like a long form tutorial, right? You will learn over the course of progressing which things matter more, what things are, how certain things work even more intuitively than say like the beginning tutorial that said just build this like Mm -hmm. why am i building that right as you progress it should do a good job of showing that (laughs) i'm still fucking around with the points oh my god i don't know what that was in reference to that's fine that's fine (laughs) that sounds awful out of context and also just sounds like you're a selfish lover it sounds great out of context i love it it sounds like you're a selfish lover and frankly lazy. <laughs> That's right. How does it know? <laughs> Barbara said, "What the hell quote is that? Please burn it." There's another. There's another streamer that I've been watching lately that they're probably one of the better streamers that I've seen using double entendre, or however you pronounce that. Just, but they claim that they're not doing it like on purpose, and I'm like, "There's no way. There's no way that you're not doing it on purpose." <laughs> There's, I'd have to see it, and even then, it's hard to say. Some people are just cannot help themselves. Yeah. Like they're just oblivious, and that's what makes it happen. Because if you w- because okay, here's my thing: if you mm-hmm. weren't oblivious, you couldn't even do it on purpose that much. It's the they don't even think about what they're saying, and so it just yeah. comes out. <laughs> and a normal person would have a thought filter that goes oh don't say that that sounds wrong so i do think there are instances of people that just sound bad all the time because they don't think Mm -hmm. about the fuck they're saying and they just say it (laughs) but i don't know she streams i think and then i choose to say retro games it's just it's fantastic yeah I'll think of some. I'll think before I say something and then oh that Mm. sounds awful yes continue yeah no yeah i'll continue (laughs) to say it it's fine yeah yeah but those are gen. They're genuinely are people that, that are just don't really have that filter and just say things without thinking how that's gonna sound like in or out of context. And oh no, <laughs> I've known people like that for sure. But I was like, there's no way. There's no way because in one stream she'll have ten to fifteen of just really off color, really weird things to say. It's just, there's no way. There's no freaking way. That's fine. The Templar one is one piece from a patron chest, which I am surprised to see on Mr. I don't get daily rewards over there. <laughs> a raffle has begun for a thousand mall. Because he just How named gonna... it. How are you going to give away a thousand mall? Easy. I'm making these points. But Moth is the in game currency. I you think he just renamed. Deal in Moth. Renamed his currency Moth. Oh. You shouldn't name it. Okay. I'm going to throw something out here. You shouldn't name our cur- channel currency the same as the in game currency, or someone's going to get confused and think that we're going to give them in game currency. It's true. That's it's true. true. And then you'll have to give Israel a thousand moth. We're not quite sure how, because. I really mean, trade, I do but... technically know a way to do it, but it's <laughs> annoying. They have to put up something for sale for a thousand fifty moth or something, and then you buy it. <laughs> so we should. We oh my god, Palmer! Patron chests are separate from daily logger rewards. Whether or not Waffle uses his patron keys, who knows? But they refresh daily on their own. What do you? Okay. Uh, the uniform wears can be additionally by, be obtained through a legacy or vanity transfer. This is a quote of somebody's. You might want to put it in quotation marks. Otherwise, I'm going to try and point out how weird and misleading it is. Okay. All right. No, no, I'm going to executive veto system. this and say the quote stays in as is only to perturb Bomber. <laughs> All right, like, so what's name our points system? That's fair. The zero zero like, points. <laughs> zero points? You have been awarded a thousand zero points. Sounds hilarious. 
kind of zero points. Pax zero points. or Black Bullion. I just because we're the zero point report. Just no, I like zero points. Yeah. Yeah, has five thousand eight hundred eighty zero points. I think that actually it it's on brand and it's funny because it's your points. Mm-hmm. Are... That's why we call ourselves a zero point report, which is simultaneously both a reference to Secret World itself with the zero point pathogen, and also and sometimes also, that we have zero points. Point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Our show has zero point. It's fine. Yeah. It works both well, ways. We are it is the itself. zero point. Yes. It's the focus of everything. <laughs> it is itself a double entendre. Wait, so what do I do? I just uh, do I just say points? Yeah, exclamation point. Any streamer has tried to Rick try to come up with a, a, catch, a catchy name for their points. Waffle, what is what are the points? What do you call your points? Waffles. Waffles? Okay. I don't know what my what are my I was like, points? Jimmy, do you have points? I have channel points. Uh, it's one I, of those... the, I made a picture for them, they're bunny ears. Okay. I they might be called bunny ears. I don't actually recall right now. But I know the picture for them is literally severed bunny ears. And when I say severed bunny ears, like I photoshopped the ears off the Uda head and put okay. them next to each other. Yeah. It's literally severed Uda head bunny ears from in the game. What? You're dueling? Wait, you're trying to duel me? You can I can accept or deny. Fight. Accept. No. I, I won. Uh, I Jimmy won. won. Undefeated. I haven't streamed in a while due to reasons, but I haven't streamed in a while. But my points, I called them Ochokins. Ochokins? For Ocho and Tokens. Okay. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find. I'm, I'm pretty sure mine are just called like bunny ears, but I'm double checking. I know the picture is of bunny ears, but I don't remember if I called them anything specifically different than that. What is that under, by the way? No points. Is it just under your stream settings? Are your channel points? Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Um... Yeah, you have to go to... Channel, maybe? Creator dashboard? Yeah, I'm in there. Viewer rewards. Ah, got it channel points yeah it's just called rabbit ears rabbit okay. yeah rabbit not bunny ears rabbit ears rabbit ears and it's got a picture of the it's got literally an Uda. icon of the Uda ears well chopped off just a pair i don't know if anyone's actually noticed that before because they normally look pretty small Z- zero i don't know yeah mostly is... people either use my channel points for one of those streamer things requesting like secret world trivia or an injury story those are the two main redeems on my channel Se- secret world trivia or uh, i'm, I'm using blurp you can do the like the funny sounds oh yeah the fart sounds and whatnot yeah i always so like seeing in, what streamers come up stories with. Are where it's at <laughs> yeah. i have lots of injury stories what did that say Something about you don't play Fortnite. I've played Fortnite on stream before, but there's a redeem for a million channel points to make you play Fortnite. (laughs) Play it again. There's no way you have enough ears to make me play Fortnite, Vomer. Oh. Oh, snap. You never never use use them. them. Yeah, but it's like a million. Oh. Feel free to, to throw them out there at some point. (laughs) <laughs> Do you want yeah, to chance? I, I yes? don't believe you have a million channel points. Yes, we totally I, want to see not, that happen. I just find it unlikely. Kalani didn't even have a million channel points, and True. a million is forever. a lot. Okay. You might have a hundred thousand. I just think I think you're off by a decimal point, personally. <laughs> but I will totally. If you do the redeem, if you actually can do the redeem, I would hundred percent stream that. He'd respect it. Yeah. All right, turn out of the stream. This is Bomber's fault. And <laughs> do I have to be streaming for your check? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> no, you can go to his channel. You can see how many you have. Scratch says, I believe Bomber has a million. I have almost 300K. Holy shit. 
I need to slow down the flow of channel points or something. What the fuck? Okay, so yeah, up. scratch is 300. Okay, okay. May maybe. Then it's quite possible. I was but like, a million uh, is a lot. I'm trying to see what it, like, how like how much you get normally. Like, what's a standard amount for them? I th That's the other thing, too, is I think that is actually configurable. It is. I'm pretty sure it is, in yeah. Twitch, you can configure, like, your channel point flow. But it's like you earn a certain, you can earn a certain amount of them per, I forget what it is. Nice three-width pyramid. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm looking it up now. I still no, like, I can't, I can't still... find it right now. But there is like a whatever, whatever the generic number is per minute. Oh, or per... Well, you don't have to cry in a corner of shame. You can just stand there. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. See, I, I was right though. I was right. You had uh, in the hundred thousand <clears throat> range. <clears throat> but scratch is in the three hundred thousand range. Whoa. Scratch, you gotta get up there. You gotta keep watching. I go for I the million. I haven't seen Kalani around in a little while, but I want to say they might have hit like around half a million or something. And they're like halfway there. Yeah, I only got thirty thousand. Yeah, like I, I say, the most commonly redeemed are lore and injury, and I have not. I've probably repeated more lore facts than injury stories. That's fair. Like, I'm probably more apt to repeat a secret world trivia thing mm -hmm. than I am to repeat an injury story. For checking to see how many points we have in each other. I lurk a lot. I know that. I'm a lurker. Oh, dude, you son of a bitch. That's right. Bomber said I redeem lore, but then you have to figure out what cool, fun fact I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Bomber. I can't break NDA to... Re to cover your trivia redeems <laughs> as much as maybe maybe would like to because that's i think what i would have to do how do i check to see how many points i don't even know where to look that up what for your, you have in jimmy's channel yeah go to his channel go to chat and it'll be underneath yeah it should be at the bottom right yeah but you gotta click on the chat tab yeah yeah did you mean the chat button? No, something? if you go to your channel, the chat, the tab there, that opens up the chat window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Oh, there we go. It, yeah, it's disappearing on my end. Come back, chat window. Come back. There it is. 45,000. Nice. It's not 300,000. I wonder if I have channel points on my own channel. You'd... Oh, I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, yeah. for you, as your yeah. channel, you're infinite. Oh, then I have more than all of you. Ha ha! <laughs> no, that's true. true. <laughs> I could... <laughs> so what you're saying is I could redeem for myself to play Fortnite. Yep. You can. Not that I would need to. <laughs> not that I would need to. Yeah, and there's bots and stuff oh, yeah, that you can use that if someone redeems... A, cha a channel point reward, you can oh. add like a hundred or a thousand for next time. Oh. So what you're saying is I should double it every time I redeem it myself. I think if nothing else from this stream, we got a really cool idea for a anniversary event stream. That's true. I did write it down, so we got it. We got it I started. I like it. <laughs> Only if you dual box Fortnite. We're going to pester us about that later. Yeah, I think we just need to, like, make a list of NPCs and then... Or just, yeah, make a list of the NPCs. Out... Uh, some normal ones, some, like, really out there ones. Yeah. And then figure out, like, how we're going to do who's fighting, potentially. Whether it's going to be us or if it's going to be... Um, other people. Like, other people. And if so, are we going to have sign-ups or something? And then really what it comes down to is, I feel like we would have to stay away from having, oh, this person is going to be this character. Because they're not going to see it anyways. So I feel like the characters kind of have to be randomized. If like we're going to make a bracket, it won't necessarily be it. truly random. But, but yeah, like they don't need to know who they are. They just need to go fight. 
Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. Unless they're actually watching the stream, and <laughs> in which case, right? No. But if they're watching, yeah. But what I'm saying is, they're not going to see it on their side anyway, so it really right. shouldn't matter to them which one they are. It'd be like, you're gonna basically you're gonna sign up to mm -hmm. be an avatar dummy, you know? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna you sign up to fight, and then what? Like maybe give everyone that participates something, and then people that win, maybe like or top three, something like that. I think that'd be cool. I like it. I like it. That seems like it'd be pretty fun. Go uh, to like the fight clubs. Huh? Use the fight clubs like New York or London. Oh, it has to be Rose and Brawl. Or Rose and Brawl, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to do it in. I thought about we might have potentially more control in the other ones. But A, not really. And B, yeah. I like the idea of having the boxing gloves because then we can bill it like a fight night. And then also yeah. having it be like a. Like everything is more even keel, too. True. Yeah, yeah. I like it. All right. I think Henry, we're good for the day. Dogs aren't the only thing that's hot. The vendor with the blender. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that is fucking amazing. Come I like on. that. I need to write that one down. <laughs> I haven't looked for that. It's, that should be a NPC skin in the photo mod somewhere. Henry, the vendor. Added as a quote. Added as a quote. <laughs> anyway, nice. agents, this has been the Zero Point Report, strain 78-HAC. You can catch us recording live every first and third Thursday. Hey, we got the first Thursday of a month down. Woo! <laughs> every first and third Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time here on the Zero Point Report Twitch channel, where you can also join us and chat with us while we do the show live or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. Jimmy, where can we find you online? You can find me on Linktree, if I Jimmy the Rabbit. Which will I need to make tell you the other 5 billion places I am. Two-Ton Waffle, where can we find you? You can find me at twotonwaffle.com. In here. Nice. And everywhere. Twotonwaffle.edu. No, dot com. Twotonwaffle.com. And I'm Ocho, and at this point, I'm just going to say you can just find me here on Twitch at Big Mikey Ocho because I have no idea how much longer will be Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is just exploding on its own. You can get in touch with us. However, yeah, you can get in touch with us by engaging with the show on Twitter. That is our primary contact for the show, at least. At Zero Point Report, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel and joining us on our Discord server, both named The Zero Point Report. So from all of us here at the Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in and wish you all the best from the secret world. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Later, taters. <laughs>